Cassis, 53-26, the top time this morning. That was a personal best for him. Johan and Doig And lane number five was a 54-62, but it's been as fast as a 53-80. Right away, it is the Aggie in lane number four, 25, 29. Half a second faster than he was in the prelims. Even flirting with that super fast pace. Can he get under 53? Maybe even faster than that. Shane Cassis, the Aggie, out way in front. Gonna win the 100 backstroke, 52-72. Another half second off of his personal best in the national champion. Third place, Clark Beach with that 53-95. Second place, Johan and Joy Bruard to the 53-80, but your champion, 52-72 from Shane Cassis. Today, you blew your previous personal best out of the water in the prelims. Then you did it again just now. Just talk about what's gone into this moment and how much it means to you to swim like that for a national title. Uh, it means a lot. Um, I'm sorry, I'm really tired right now. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just very proud. Uh, it's a lot easier to swim this fast when you're not swimming for yourself. Uh, I'm trying to make Jay and Jason proud, my mother proud, and my teammates proud. I hope, I hope I did that. Absolutely. Now, you took the silver medal in the 200, now the national title in the one. How do you take this momentum and use it as you look ahead to the next year? Uh, it's a good stepping down for my uh, career. Uh, sorry, I'm just really sorry. Yeah, I mean, it's a huge confidence booster going into trials, and now I'm just going to learn from it and build off of it. All right, Shane, congratulations. Thank you. Rowdy, I don't know what's more difficult, actually winning a race or doing the interview afterward.